The heart plays a crucial role in the development of the human embryo, starting from a cellular level. Initially, the physical body begins as a single cell or sphere, and then multiplies, forming a tetrahedron and subsequently a star tetrahedron, representing the first stages of embryonic growth. This star tetrahedron, consisting of eight cells, forms a fundamental structure in human development. Metaphysically, this is seen as the basis for the eight primary chakras in the human body. As embryonic development continues, the cells form a complex mass, eventually organizing into a toroidal field. It is within this toroidal field's core that the first actual organ of the human body appears, which is the heart. This early formation of the heart as the first organ highlights its significance, not only in physical development, but also in the context of sacred geometry and spiritual significance. In sacred geometry, the heart is seen as more than just a physical organ. It represents a fundamental aspect of human consciousness and connection to the universe. The heart's formation within the toroidal field during embryonic development can be seen as a reflection of this deeper spiritual role. The geometry of the heart and its early appearance in the developmental stages underline its centrality to human life, both physically and spiritually. The heart is not only vital for pumping blood, but also plays a key role in our physiological and emotional states, primarily due to its powerful electromagnetic field. Research has shown that the heart generates an electromagnetic field that is significantly stronger than the brain's. In terms of electricity, it's about 100 times stronger, and in terms of magnetism, it's up to 5,000 times more potent. This electromagnetic field of the heart extends several feet away from the body and influences our physiology, emotions, and even the people around us. One of the key aspects studied is the heart rate variability, HRV, which is the measure of the variation in time between each heartbeat. Contrary to the previous belief that a healthy heart beats like a metronome, HRV studies reveal that even at rest, the heart's rhythm is surprisingly non-uniform and dynamic. This variability in the heart's rhythm is not random, but is influenced by our emotional states. Negative emotions such as stress, anger, frustration, and anxiety lead to a chaotic and disordered heart rhythm pattern. This irregular pattern is indicative of a system that is out of sync, akin to driving a car in an inefficient and stressful manner. Physiologically, this can lead to inefficiencies in bodily functions, deplete our energy, and cause wear and tear on various systems. In contrast, positive emotions like love, joy, appreciation, and gratitude create a heart rhythm pattern that is coherent and harmonically ordered. This state is not only subjectively pleasant, but also has been found to enhance the overall functioning of the body. It leads to improved cognitive function, increased emotional stability, and a more efficient physiological state. The concept of psychophysiological coherence is central here. It describes a state where our emotions, mind, and body are in harmonious alignment. Achieving this state of coherence is beneficial for our mental acuity, problem-solving abilities, emotional stability, and physical health. Moreover, the electromagnetic field of the heart also plays a role in interpersonal interactions. Our heart's field can actually interact with and influence the fields generated by others, contributing to our sense of connectedness and interpersonal relationships. This interaction can occur beyond conscious awareness and emphasizes the heart's role in our emotional and social experiences. In summary, the heart's electromagnetic field is a fundamental aspect of our physiological and emotional lives. It influences our personal well-being, our interactions with others, and our overall perception of life. Understanding and harnessing the power of the heart's field can lead to greater health, deeper emotional connections, and a more harmonious life. Heart rate variability, HRV, is a significant physiological marker that reflects the heart's ability to adapt to changing environmental and emotional stimuli. It measures the variation in time intervals between heartbeats 
known as interbeat intervals. Unlike the common belief that a steady, metronome-like heart rate indicates optimal health, HRV presents a different perspective. A healthy heart is not one that beats uniformly, but rather one that demonstrates flexibility and adaptability in its rhythm. HRV is closely linked to our body's autonomic nervous system, ANS, which regulates many of our unconscious bodily functions, including heart rate, respiratory rate, and digestion. The ANS is divided into the sympathetic nervous system, SNS, which is responsible for the fight or flight response, and the parasympathetic nervous system, PNS, which is responsible for rest and digest activities. HRV is a measure of the balance and interplay between these two systems. Research has shown a strong correlation between HRV and emotional states. Emotional experiences directly impact the heart's rhythm and consequently its variability. Negative emotions such as stress, anger and frustration can lead to a decrease in HRV. This decrease is characterized by a more chaotic and less harmonious heart rhythm pattern, indicating a dominance of the sympathetic nervous system. Such states are not only emotionally unsettling, but can lead to increased wear and tear on the body, reduced efficiency in bodily functions, and a higher risk of cardiovascular issues. On the other hand, positive emotional states, such as happiness, gratitude, and love, are associated with increased HRV. This increase reflects a more coherent and harmonious heart rhythm, indicative of a well-functioning balance between the sympathetic and parasympathetic systems. Higher HRV in the context of positive emotions is linked to better cardiovascular health, greater resilience to stress, improved cognitive function, and overall well-being. Techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, and mindfulness have been found to positively influence HRV. These practices can help shift the balance towards the parasympathetic nervous system, promoting relaxation, reducing stress, and enhancing emotional well-being. In essence, by consciously regulating our emotional states, we can influence our heart's rhythm and variability thereby impacting our overall health and well-being. In conclusion, HRV is a powerful tool for understanding the intricate connections between our heart, brain, and emotions. It provides insight into how emotional states directly impact our physiological functioning, highlighting the importance of managing stress and fostering positive emotional experiences for optimal health and well-being. The heart, often recognized as the center of our emotional and intuitive faculties, plays a crucial role far beyond its physiological function of pumping blood. In various cultures and ancient traditions, the heart is seen as the hub of emotional intelligence and intuition, holding a key position in our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Modern scientific research, particularly in the field of neurocardiology, has begun to uncover remarkable aspects of the heart that align with these ancient beliefs. It has been discovered that the heart possesses its own complex nervous system, sometimes referred to as the heart brain, composed of around 40,000 neurons. This intrinsic cardiac nervous system allows the heart to process information, make decisions, and even possess a form of memory independently of the brain. This challenges the traditional view of the heart as merely a blood pump and opens up new perspectives on its role in emotional processing and intuitive decision making. The heart's electromagnetic field is another area of interest. It is the most powerful rhythmic electromagnetic field produced by the human body, not only enveloping every cell of the body, but also extending out in all directions into the space around us. This field can be detected and measured several feet away from the body and is known to be influenced by our emotions. Studies have shown that emotions of love, gratitude, and appreciation generate coherent heart rhythm patterns that are more harmonically ordered and stable. In contrast, negative emotions like anger and fear produce erratic, disordered heart rhythm patterns. This coherence, or lack thereof, 
greatly influences our emotional experience and can affect our cognitive functions, including attention, perception, and problem-solving abilities. Further research suggests that the heart plays a pivotal role in the experience of intuition. Experiments have demonstrated that the heart can receive and respond to information about a future event before the event actually occurs and even before the brain receives the signal. This implies that the heart is directly involved in the processing and decoding of intuitive information. In addition to its intuitive capacities, the heart is integral to emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, the ability to recognize, understand, and manage our own emotions and the emotions of others is deeply connected to the heart's ability to process emotional information. The heart's intelligence enables us to navigate our social world with empathy, compassion and understanding, forming deeper and more meaningful connections with others. The concept of the heart as a center of intuition and emotional intelligence aligns with many spiritual and philosophical teachings that emphasize the heart's wisdom and its role in personal growth and consciousness development. By tuning into our heart and nurturing positive emotional states, we can enhance our emotional intelligence, improve our intuitive capabilities, and foster a deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. Heart-centered living, a concept deeply rooted in various spiritual traditions and increasingly recognized in modern wellness practices, emphasizes the profound significance of the heart in achieving higher consciousness and a sense of unity. This approach to life is grounded in the understanding that the heart is more than just a physical organ pumping blood. It is a vital center of emotional, spiritual, and energetic significance. In many ancient cultures, including those of ancient India, the heart was revered as the seat of the soul and the source of love, wisdom, and insight. This perspective aligns with the modern understanding of the heart as an organ of deep emotional and intuitive intelligence. Heart-centered living involves tuning into the heart's innate wisdom, leading to a more empathetic, compassionate, and connected way of being. One of the key aspects of heart-centered living is the cultivation of positive emotions such as love, compassion, joy, and gratitude. These emotions are known to create coherent heart rhythm patterns, which have a harmonizing effect on the body's systems. This coherence contributes to improved physiological functioning, reduced stress, and enhanced mental clarity and emotional stability. Heart-centered living also involves developing a strong connection to one's inner self and intuition. By listening to the heart's guidance, individuals can make more aligned and authentic decisions leading to a more fulfilling and purposeful life. This inner connection fosters a sense of peace and contentment, as decisions and actions are rooted in one's true nature and values. Moreover, living from the heart opens pathways to higher levels of consciousness and spiritual growth. It encourages individuals to transcend the ego and its limitations, fostering a sense of oneness with others and the universe. This shift in perspective from separation to unity leads to a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all life and the realization that our thoughts, emotions, and actions have a profound impact on the world around us. Heart-centered living also emphasizes the importance of relationships and community. By approaching interactions with others from a place of heart-based understanding and compassion, individuals can build stronger, more meaningful connections. This approach to relationships promotes empathy, understanding, and mutual support, creating a sense of community and shared purpose. In essence, heart-centered living is a holistic approach that integrates the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual aspects of being. It encourages individuals to live in alignment with their heart's wisdom, leading to a more balanced, harmonious, and connected existence. As more people embrace this way of living, it has the potential to bring about a collective shift towards greater unity, peace, and understanding in the world. You're welcome. Is there any particular area of my life or even my physical body which you could do with a bit more love?
love and focus and attention that I might be neglecting or your heart, your heart, your heart. That's the key. That's the key here. Literally, yeah. we're not speaking poetically. No, no, that's right. the key. Yeah. Your heart links you to all levels of creation. So the more you focus on your heart, the more you will gain level of access both internally and externally. What we mean by this is there are infinite levels of your consciousness within you and infinite levels of consciousness around you. So when you focus on the heart, breathe into the heart, love the heart, speak to the heart, pray to the heart, work with the heart, you gain unlimited access to your inner self, so to say, and unlimited access to your outer self, what you consider to be the collective consciousness and you're welcome.